Hi all, today we will discuss the small signal model of MOSFET. Uh, for that uh, we can consider this simple circuit. So in this circuit uh, it is biased at certain DC voltage such that its operating point is fixed in saturation region. Why we are fixing the operating point in saturation region because we have to work this transistor as an amplifier. So we have to fix the operating point in uh, saturation region for that we are biasing this transistor using this VDC. On the top of this VDC you can see an input voltage VI. You can see an input voltage or AC voltage VI is applied on the top of this VDC. So in saturation region we know the drain current of the MOSFET. MOSFET working in saturation region we know what is its drain current. So the equation for the drain current is ID is equal to 1 by 2 mu n C O X into W by L into VGS minus VT the whole square. This is the equation for a MOSFET to work in uh, equation for the drain current when a MOSFET is working in saturation region. Here you can see that VGS is the gate source voltage. VGS is the gate to source voltage. Here the gate source voltage is the sum of this VI and VDC. So we can write VGS is equal to, we can write VGS is equal to VI plus VDC. We can write VGS as VI plus VDC. Because we are applying a DC voltage VDC for biasing this transistor as well as we are using an input voltage, input AC voltage VI. So the AC voltage and DC voltage that sum will appear as the gate source voltage. So VGS we can write it as VI plus VDC. The equation for ID is change, its, uh, change it as ID is equal to 1 by 2 mu n c o x into w by l into we can replace vgs by vi plus vdc so vi plus vdc minus vt the whole square here you can see that the relationship between the ac input v in v in or vi the AC input VI and the drain current ID is nonlinear. But if its input signal V in is very small, that means we are considering very uh, small signal approximation, the change in drain current is linearly proportional to the input signal. I repeat, if uh, its input signal, that means VI is very small, if its input signal VI is very small, the change in drain current, the change occurs in this drain current is linearly proportional to the input voltage. And in that, in that case, the MOSFET can be replaced by its small signal model. And in that case, we are replacing our MOSFET by its small signal model. When we are applying small signal input, we are replacing our transistor or MOSFET by its small signal model. That is when that is when vi vi is very much less than vdc minus vt that is we are applying a very small input voltage then our equation for id becomes id can be equal to id is equal to 1 by 2 mu n c o x into w by l here we are expanding this term like this uh, VI plus VDC minus VT the whole square considering this as one term. So we can expand like this uh, A plus B the whole square like we can expand VI square plus 2 into VI into VDC minus VT plus VDC minus VT the whole square. 
here v i is much smaller than v d c minus v t here v i is much smaller than v d c minus v t so we can neglect the square of v i okay so uh, we can write this equation i d is equal to 1 by 2 mu n c o a x we are neglecting this term okay v i square we can neglect mu x into uh, mu n c o x into w by l into first term first term 2 2 v i into v d c minus v t plus 1 by 2 mu n c o x into w by l into v d c minus v t the whole square. So, this 2 and this 2 get cancelled. So, our equation uh, i d can be written as i d is equal to mu n c o x into w by l into v i into v d c minus v t plus 1 by 2 mu n c o x into w by l into v d c minus v t the whole square. I rewrite this equation like this. I, I am taking this term as first term 1 by 2 mu n c o x into w by l into v d c minus v t the whole square plus mu n c o x into w by l into v d c minus v t into v i. So, here the first term con, uh, contains only the d c component. So, we can write i d is equal to i d 0. That means, this is the equation for DC drain current. That, mean, uh, that means it contains only DC component and it is the expression for DC drain current. Here in this, uh, in this analysis, we are applying both AC and DC signals. But in this term here, it contains only uh, DC components. So, we can consider this, uh, this term as ID0 and ID0 is the DC current plus this term is the transconductance GM. This is the equation for transconductance or GM. Transconductance is represented by GM. Uh, the equation for transconductance GM is mu n c o x into w by l into v d c minus v t. Uh, so, this is equivalent to the transconductance. So, we can write which is equal to uh, this as GM into v i. So, our equation for I d tends to I d is equal to I d 0 plus G m into V i. So, here I d 0 is the D c drain current, I d 0 is the D c drain current, D c drain current and G m into V i, G m into V i is the change in drain current due to input signal change and gm into vi is the change in drain current due to input signal. So, the total response of the MOSFET is the summation of DC response and AC response. So, here the total response of the MOSFET is the summation of DC response and AC response by using uh, our so, uh, principle of superposition we can uh, we can analyze the DC response and AC response separately. According to superposition principle, we know that uh, while we are analyzing the DC or D while we are performing DC analysis, the AC signal is assumed to be 0. And similarly, when we are analyzing AC, anal when we are go for AC analysis, we consider the DC signal assumed to be 0. So, for our small signal analysis, we have to consider only the AC component. That means that GM into VI we can consider as the drain current or id so small signal approximation the change in drain current is linearly proportional to the input signal v in and in the in that case the mosfet can be replaced by its small signal model so we can draw the small signal model of our mosfet so for our small signal analysis we can replace 
our MOSFET by using this small signal model of MOSFET. Okay. So, uh, here gate, gate terminal is open and then um, uh, here VGS is the input voltage and we know that the drain current ID is linearly proportional to VGS. ID is equal to GM into GM times VGS. So, this is the most simple small signal model of MOSFET. In this case, we are not considering about the channel length modulation effect of MOSFET. So, uh, here uh, lambda or channel length modulation, here lambda or uh, lambda or channel length modulation we are considering as 0. Okay. So, if we are considering the channel length modulation effect of MOSFET, then we have to add an output resistance also in this smart signal model. This is the smart signal model when we are considering the channel length modulation effect. Uh, when we are considering the channel length modulation effect, we will add an additional resistance RO to the smart signal model. But for simplicity of our analysis, generally we will consider our channel length modulation effect is equal to 0 and we consider this circuit, uh, this small signal model for our analysis purpose. Okay. So, that is all about uh, the small signal model of MOSFET. I hope all of you understand this topic. Thanks for watching. We will see you on next class.